Hello, Indiana Conference Church family. It's hard to believe that we are starting a new year, 2021. If the truth be told, most of us would rather forget the year that we have just been through. 2020 was a very difficult time for all of us. A global pandemic, racial tensions, political division. These hit us one after another, sending us to our knees, praying for God's help and guidance. Thankfully, we serve a loving and merciful God who provides for all our needs and sustains us by His Spirit. As we start 2021, we enter the year with a lot of uncertainty. None of us really know what lies ahead for our world and nation. The good news is that we don't have to worry about the future. With God by our side helping us, we can move forward in faith. Just as God has worked in times past, He will continue to work for His people today and in the future. Recognizing our great need of God in 2021, I would like to personally invite you to join us for a conference-wide day of prayer and fasting, as well as a virtual prayer summit on Sabbath, January 9, from 3 to 5 p.m. It will be an exciting time when members from all across the state of Indiana will come together in a season of prayer. We will be praying for the mission work in Indiana. We'll be praying for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And we'll be praying for the healing of our nation. There will be guest speakers taking on the subject of prayer. And they'll be discussing it more in depth. And we'll also hear testimonies of how God has worked in people's lives. We are given this promise in the scriptures. It's found in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Notice what God says. He says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Clearly, friends, prayer is important. It is an act of humility. It is a recognition of our sins and our great need of God and His help. God invites us to seek after Him, and as we do, He says that He will hear, He will forgive, and He will heal. Ellen White said this many years ago. She said, it's part of God's plan to grant us an answer to the prayer of faith, that which He would not bestow, did we not thus ask. So we are reminded from her writings and from Scripture that prayer makes a difference. It is the key in the great controversy. Friends, there is no doubt we're living in the last days of earth's history. And if there's ever a time that we are to come together in prayer, it is now. And as we pray, God will respond and He will answer the prayers of His people. The conference theme this year in 2021 is forward in faith, persistent in prayer. And as we move forward in faith, we really believe that prayer is the key as we deal with different issues and we face what will be coming in the new year. So I'd like to encourage you, come and join us for the virtual prayer summit. You can go to our conference website and you can register for the event. And when you do, immediately you'll receive a link to join us on that Sabbath from your home or from your apartment. Thank you for taking advantage of this opportunity. We are looking forward to meeting together and praying together. May God shine His grace upon you and may He give you peace in this new year.